just sitting here on the edge of a, some highway. I was with the bunch, but got a massive blowout. And I said, guys, just keep going. That's the casualty <laughs> on this cool high. The roads here are so good in Thailand. A little blowout here, check that out. These specialized tires, man, I just keep busting them out. I'm not sure what the deal is. Good tires when they're working, but I seem to just fucking cripple them. Um, question of the day is, that's the model, it's a Specialized Pro. Question of the day, Harley, what do you think of Kevin Jowney's B12 patches? And I'm, <laughs> you're a cyclist, you know all that B12 and hemoglobin, hematocrit. What's the scoop, what's your opinion, yo, Duran Rider? Nothing personal against Kevin Jowney and his supplement marketing and stuff. I wanted my email accounts to actually subscribe to Kevin's uh, marketing spiel because I always like to see what people are doing, you know, the shit they sell. And again, just share my comments and criticisms, nothing personal, I don't hate Kevin Jowney. B12 patches. Kevin Jowney recently, he sends out this fear campaign, fear campaign, fear campaign. If you're, remember, if you're a vegetarian, vegan, more vegan, you need B12 patches, my B12 patches. It's like, fuck, you're selling a non-FDA approved, which it doesn't really mean too much, but it's a non-FDA approved vitamin B12 supplement that you're claiming can reverse clinical B12 issues, but it's not FDA approved. And you don't have any real evidence other than you met some lady in Costa Rica who had been using the patch and it raised her B12 levels. Like, what the, like, <laughs> that, that's so, to what, what were the levels before and after? What are they long term? What are they after five years? Like, it's just so subjective. But the thing is, you can sell anyone any bullshit these days. What's my opinion on Kevin Gianni's patches, B12 patches? A load of rubbish. A load of rubbish. My personal opinion, don't waste your time, money, and health with B12 patches. If you're worried about B12, or if you want the high B12 levels, you're a cyclist, or a runner, or a bodybuilder, or whatever, use B12 intramuscular shots. Now, I know there's a lot of stigma with needles, and people are like, oh, whatever. If you want high B12 levels, that's the only way to guarantee it. I've given out over 100 B12 shots, uh, probably 50% to my vegan friends, 50% to my meat-eating friends, cyclist runners that eat steak. Low B12, or they want B12 higher for a competition or whatever, or they want to get lean, so do a few B12 shots to lean up, to help metabolize fat better and protein and carbohydrate better, or well, for whatever reason, people do it. I only recommend B12 injections personally. I've done enough videos about that, I'm not going to go on about that, but B12 patches, man, seriously, waste, in my opinion, time and fucking money. It's like... <laughs> You're buying a non-FDA approved gimmick fad from some salesy gimmicky fucking multi-level marketing website to reverse a clinical deficiency or whatever. Please don't put your health in the hands of people like Kevin Jarney who are just money hungry people who just go with what's trending. They just type in, they type into Google Trends and go, all right, let's go with that, let's go with this. Vegan's good, vegan's bad, vegan's okay. But they just fucking go with the market's going. Don't put your health in these people's hands. They just in it for the fucking money. That's my comments and criticisms, not hating, just saying, if you want B12 levels superior, B12 shots. We live in a sterile society. Look at all this traffic, I'm breathing pollution the whole time. We have a lot more stress and stuff in society than we have in nature. In nature, it's like just chilling out eating mangoes and drinking water and just going, yeah man, let's go climb some trees and walk up the mountain and check out the birds or whatever. So B12 levels, man, it's a polluted society. Chlorine, fucking carbon dioxide, whatever. That's why B12 deficiency is so common. So if you want to reverse it or whatever, B12 shots, sublingals, whatever, don't waste your time. Go with what actually works. 1,000% of the time, intramuscular shots. Do your own homework, make your own conclusions. Thanks for watching.